and it's Martin Watch House and welcome back on my channel. Thanks a lot for watching, thanks a lot for supporting and tuning your questions. I also very, very thank you thankful for everybody who adds me on LinkedIn and asks their questions because I really want to hear and see your problems. That helps me to create the videos and they don't have to be about BigQuery only. I also have Google Ads scripts. I'm planning on Python for Google Ads and also for some other platforms. If you have something like this, just shoot your ideas. Okay guys, today I want to show you another thing that actually strikes me a lot because I haven't seen when exactly that happened. But a few moments ago, sorry, a few weeks ago when I was working with the Google Ads data with the raw one for my real project, uh, which is not included in this data set, I actually found out that my criteria table, which is here, uh, my criteria table, which should contain all the criteria, that means the keywords, the audience lists, remarketing lists, interests, topics, placements, DSAs, rules, and everything else that can answer the question where you want to show your ad or what principles should be in there. For some of my campaigns and for some of the accounts, the data was not there. And that was extremely weird because criteria one is the table that I'm using for over a year now and I never ever actually seen that. So what I found out that it might happen, I haven't found any reasons for that, but I'm sure that the BigQuery was set it up correctly, but recently uh, the keyword table appeared here. So now we have a lot of views with the keyword data, keyword conversion stats, and a lot of tables with this. And that means that we can use these data to work with. The cool thing that my data that I was missing from criteria table, from criteria stats table, I'm very sorry, was in the keyword stats data. So it was there and that was extremely weird. The cool part that the IDs of criteria matches between criterion tables and the keyword tables. So what I'm uh, what I mean is when you go to keyword and you have you don't have keyword ID here, you have criterion ID, which is exactly the same schema that you will find in the criteria table. And the schema for those who don't know is this table that describes which fields or which type you have inside your table. So you can use, if you miss some of the data for keyword stuff or whatever, this, is my, this might be the reason. I can't tell you honestly, I don't know what exactly happened with that my BigQuery, but I had to switch all my reports to keyword based uh, tables. So instead of using criteria stats, I use keyword stats and everything else. And besides that, everything else works fine. And let me show you one thing. So I don't have much, but if I do here, select everything from mm, Google Ads, Marketing Watch House, keyword, and then let me put where thing, mm, where's the type? Let me check it. Don't remember. Bidding type, keyword match type. Uh, yeah, I think there is no such thing here. Yeah, it only has the keywords in here. So that means that you should not find here any DSA type, which means to combine DSA and keywords, you still go to have to go to criteria, if I'm not mistaken because you don't have type here. Um, yeah, and if you go to criteria, and here you push the detail, oh sorry, the schema, and you have type, criteria type, have it here. So uh, this is a very weird behavior, just in case if you are the guy uh, that affected by the some missing data in the criteria table, then use the keyword one, but it should not be the case. And also if you have in your accounts only keywords and you're not planning to use anything else or you wanna analyze only keywords, you might also wanna go for keyword tables because they are smaller and you pay less money. And when you have hundreds of accounts with thousands and millions of keywords, even a like 10, 15% redun uh, reduction of the uh, targeting methods might save you a lot. So that's actually all guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to push like and don't forget to ask your comments. Thanks a lot for staying with me. Thanks for helping this channel and see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.